Bill and Janice immediately began focusing their energies on the most important issues. First, they turned to their employees and shared their concerns. Then, they spent a half day analyzing their customer base. The employees made a list of the customers that were profitable and great to work with. Then they made a list of the customers who were the opposite, unprofitable and difficult. That list was much longer than the first. A hush fell on the group. All right, everyone. Well, what does this tell us? Hands were raised. Bobby, the CFO, spoke up. This means that most of our attention is spent on customers who don't make us any money. And they're the toughest to deal with. We just can't make them happy. But on the bright side, most of our profit comes from the smaller group of customers who love us. These customers are fun, and they respect us. They appreciate our passion. That's why they come here. Wouldn't it be great to focus on customers like them all day long? Josh, a new employee, lifted his hand and spoke. Everybody take another look at that list of customers. All of our best customers have something in common. They have passion. You're right, Josh. They're the outdoorsy types. They love to fish. They love to be out in nature. Our store fits them. They share our passion and they feel at home here. The other group is different. All they want to hunt are bargains. I think Josh has helped us understand our niche and where we need to invest our marketing dollars. Focusing on attracting and retaining these unique individuals. Employee morale immediately skyrocketed because employees had a firm idea of what the store stood for. They focused on the loyal customers, renaming them clients. A client advisory board was formed and met every month. It was a great forum for learning and sharing ideas from the client's perspective. The clients told Bill and Janice that the little things meant the most to them, like being addressed by name when they entered the store. Many of the more expensive programs, like the extended store hours, weren't valued. Identifying these things helped them create client treatment standards and allowed Janice to save money by eliminating the extended store hours and the other unwanted programs. Bill and Janice met with vendors, not to beat them up, but to form better relationships with them. Bill's top vendor, Joe's Umbrellas, partnered with him and trained several of Bill's salespeople to be umbrella specialists. These employees were the go-to people for customers with umbrella needs. Umbrella sales went sky high. At the next company-wide meeting, Janice shared the value of customer loyalty with the employees. We have to start realizing that the value of a client is much more than his or her last purchase. Each of our loyal clients will purchase from us many times a year and will come back for service too. In addition, a loyal client could tell half a dozen or more of their friends who could in turn become loyal clients and the cycle goes on and on. Each of our clients is an individual, so we can't treat them all the same. The important thing is that they're happy with us and they come back. Janice recalled her meeting with Boomerang. We've come a long way and it feels great. We're having fun again. Everyone, here's a bonus for the great improvement in client retention we had this month. Congratulations and thank you. Weeks later, Bill drove up and saw a friendly sight, a boomerang demonstration in the employee parking lot. His friend had returned. Only this time, there were even more boomerangs flying through the air. The store employees had joined in and with a little training from boomerang, were fast becoming experts. Laughter filled the air. Bill ran up to greet him. Here we go. This is great. Our sales and profits are up and we're having more fun than ever. And we have you to thank. Two things, though I'd like to buy some boomerangs from you, and what is your real name? Well, first of all, I have you to thank. And secondly, you can't buy boomerangs from me because I'm not really a boomerang salesman. My name is Lucas Smith, but my friends call me Smitty. Bill and Janice were astonished. <laughs> the Smitty I knew was much older than you. That was my father. He passed away a year ago. But he had mentioned your father and your store, and how in so many ways you had helped him. One of his last wishes was that I would return here to help you and return the favor. Just like a boomerang, consider a return. Why don't you stay and have lunch with us? We can share recent progress and 
Maybe we can talk you into doing what your dad used to do for us. Bring us new and exciting products from all over the world. All right. <laughs> Bill, Janice, and Smitty spent the morning throwing boomerangs and began a new relationship that would reap many returns. The successful customer loyalty approach is embraced, enacted, and rewarded company-wide. The value of a loyal customer is much more than just their last purchase. The high retention or boomerang company calculates their real value and treats them accordingly. Everyone involved with a company can play a role in retaining the customers, the employees, the suppliers, and the customers themselves. Loyal customers aren't looking for programs, processes, or perfection. They value being treated as individuals and with respect. The more a company understands their loyal customers, the better the chance they have to retain them and find more just like them. Loyal customers constitute most, if not all, of a company's profit and true growth. The company with dedicated loyal customers has a unique competitive advantage. The heart of earning customer loyalty is more than a program or a process, it's passion. High customer retention is positively felt throughout an organization, bringing growth, higher profit, and employee retention. Just as each customer is unique and individual, your approach to retain each customer should be too. Think boomerang instead of killer stick. Have you ever found a hidden truth buried in the daily grind that made the colors of your passion come and open up your eyes? Come out of the rain, come out of the rain, come out of the rain, the sky is clearer here. Under my umbrella.